Life is a balancing act. Good night, everyone. I am winding down for the evening. I am getting ready for bed. I was going to try and set up my desk, but it's a, a little bit late and I kind of have to be up in the morning. We'll see. If I'm not like in the bed by 12 o'clock midnight, it's a done deal, but um, I still want to oil my scalp, oil down my body. I shaved, I mean, I shaved every single bit of my body and I scrubbed my scalp to every inch of its parameter, like literally. I am squeaky, squeaky clean. I think I've been in the shower for at least an hour. I had to shave like it was nobody's business. I haven't shaved like that in like weeks. So yeah, but my scalp is acting really weird these days. I'm very disappointed and sad. I have to I have to meet with my doctor like ASAP. My scalp is like not doing too well. My scalp is extremely irritated at the moment. A lot is happening with my hair and my hair follicles. They're just not doing too good. So yeah i am so sorry about the way i've been looking but i'm not ready to take out my braids i'm not ready for my hair to be out so i do apologize for the way that i look but yeah i don't know it's just i don't know a lot is happening with my scalp i just had to wash my hair again even though i really don't um to be honest with you i don't wash my hair like every other day I know that sounds a bit gross to certain people, but I'm not the type of person to wash my hair every day because I'm just not, I don't really wash my hair like that. But I washed my hair a few days ago and now I'm washing it again because my scalp is very irritated, very flaky, very dry. A lot is happening with my skin at the moment. I'm having like some issues. Anyway, but yeah, I just scrubbed down, I shaved. Only thing I need to really shave is my knuckles. I bought this electronic face shaver. I'll show you if I can, or I'll put a picture of the actual shaver that I use, the electronic one for my face on the screen, somewhere over here. But I stopped using it for my face. I mean, if I have to use it on my face, I will, but I don't really like using it on my face. So I don't know, I'm weird about it now. So now I haven't thrown it away. I have managed to put it to use. I shave my hands and my knuckles with it now. So it's not something that I feel like I wasted money on. And it does work. It does work for your face. You can use it on your skin, but I don't know. I just, I don't know, something about that type of metal. I'm pretty sure most of my razors are metal if not plastic but i'm pretty sure all razors are metal but it's something about that particular metal that i'm not really feeling having it against my on my skin i don't know so i stopped using it on my face and now i use it on my knuckles and that's it um but yeah i'm gonna do my knuckles in a little bit hopefully i can find it i don't remember where i put it when i was doing my unpacking these last couple of days i don't recall seeing it but i'm sure i have it somewhere i didn't throw it away so yeah I'm just going to continue my night with you guys. I'm going to oil my scalp. I'm going to wax my face, what I normally would do every two to three weeks. I do my chin and my upper lip. I used to do my cheeks, but I feel like my cheeks haven't been loving to be waxed. I used to wax my whole entire face, everything, my neck. My jawline, my chin, everything, but I don't really do my cheeks and my, I forget what this area is called. It's not necessarily my jawline, it's like right underneath my cheeks, this space right here. I don't really do it anymore. I don't know, I feel like my skin has been really irritated after waxing recently. So I'm only gonna wax my chin, my upper lip, my sideburns, and my around my neck like i said i shaved every single thing so i'm gonna start with some skincare i normally after i shave my nana my ill nana i tend to go in with this 10 skin solution 
I get this on Amazon. It's great for like after shaving. It prevents or manages ingrown hair. It's the solution for ingrown hairs. Um, I feel like ever since I started using this, this one is definitely my third bottle. I have another bottle, I believe. I have one on its way out, but I can't find it. So yeah, it's probably in my skincare, but I just quickly just ran through it and I don't see it. So I'm gonna have to open a brand new one. I managed to find this one. So I don't know, maybe I threw it out. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna wax my face. I'm going to pluck my brows. I just need to get myself together for the rest of the week. So today is Monday night. I'm really trying to plan out the rest of the week. My alarm is set for eight o'clock in the morning. I wanna make something really quickly to eat. I'm going to get my teeth cleaned. I'm going to see my dentist. I'm not getting a checkup because I got one several months ago. I'm just going for a follow-up cleaning and that's it. But I do have some running around to do. But yeah, I'm going to just wax my face really quickly, do my skincare, and uh, finish off the night. It's after 10 p.m. So I don't know how much more I can get done. I need to find me something to wear. I need to get ready to go to bed because I'm trying to be well rested tomorrow. I haven't been getting any sleep lately. Sleep is very important and it is healthy for your skin. So yeah, I am like not doing too well. I'm breaking out. I'm getting all kind of marks and stuff all over my face. My, my skin is not doing too well. So yeah, I am going to put you on a time lapse and I'm just going to quickly wax my face. It's going to be quick because I'm not waxing my whole entire face, but yeah. First, I'm going to use my... I turned on my wax. I had it on high as I was showering so that by the time I finished showering, it would be completely melted. But if it's too high, it gets very thin and liquidy and I don't want that. So I want it as a a paste rather than a liquid. I turned it down already so it should be good to go. It's still hot, it's still melted, but I usually keep it on low as I'm waxing. But when I'm trying to get the wax to melt, I leave it on high for like a half an hour. This is a, a hard wax, I believe. I don't know, it's looking a little bit different. Normally it's a little bit yellower than this. I don't know if this is a sugar cane wax, but normally I get an all-purpose hard wax. I'm not sure if this is the same exact one. So it's looking a little bit different right now. It normally doesn't look like this. I've never used any other type of wax out there besides all-purpose hard wax. I actually have the empty can that I just took out earlier today still here. So that's the one that I always get. I'm guessing that this one today is the sugar wax. I don't know, but I will let you guys know how I get on with that. It wasn't done on purpose. I'm not trying to change out my routine or anything, but I'm just letting you know that I'm making an observation and I noticed that this wax is different from the other wax. So I definitely will give you an update on this one because I know for sure that this is not the wax that I normally go for or get. Yeah, this is like a sugar cane. I, I don't know. Oh God. I hope it works. Maybe I might have to use those strips because this is like very, I mean, it smells the same, but still. I apply it everywhere first. I let it dry for a couple of seconds and then I rip everything off all at once and then I do my eyebrows last. So, yep. And I have my double-sided mirror right here.
so just as I expected, two things I expected. I mean, number one, this is not the same wax that I normally get. I accidentally bought the wrong wax. This is horrendous. I'm throwing this out immediately. I don't like it. It's not what I'm used to. It's too liquidy. It's all over the place. It got on my gown. It's not gonna come out of my gown. Now I have to really throw this out. I mean, this is, I am so angry. Like it's ruining my night. <sighs> I finally got can out of the warmer and it's called all-purpose body wax I don't know I just I just know I use all-purpose and I just grabbed it by mistake I don't know it was right next to the all-purpose hard wax this one is all-purpose body wax so I don't like this at all like I, I'm assuming I'm gonna have to use these but I am gonna use it right now I'm gonna reapply the wax and I'm gonna put this um cloth on it and then do it like how they do it at the salon i don't do it like that i don't know how to do it like that i'm just not used to that method but yeah i'm going to reapply the wax i want to throw it right out because i can't be bothered with this i need regular hard wax it's uncomfortable it's painful but as soon as it gets on stuff once it hardens it just like falls right off and this is like not coming off at all and i do not like that so it's all over my fingers. I'm just so aggravated. It's all over my shower robe and I'm gonna have to throw it out now. It's just, I don't like this. This is too liquidy. It doesn't like harden as much as I thought it would. I knew it, like I just knew it once I saw it. I was like, something is off. I don't know what it is, but something is off. And I was right. I'm gonna reapply it. I tried to stick one of these cloths on it's not sticking, so I'm assuming that it has to be hot when you apply it. So we'll see. I'm very angry at myself. I have things to do. I'm trying to get my life together before midnight. I'm being so dramatic, I'm sorry, but. Oh God, I'm just like, it's like so liquidy. It's getting all over the place. I do not like this at all. a mess like I'm trying to pull it off it's like too soft so I'm assuming you have to use this absolutely not I mean my goodness I'm annoyed Okay, that wasn't too bad. That was not bad at all. I think it's just the extra step I don't like, like having to do this extra step. And that wasn't bad. And it wasn't that painful. And it got the hairs off. That wasn't too bad, but I think in my mind, doing this extra step is just too much for me. Good morning, everyone. It is Tuesday. It is about 8.45 in the morning. I am just getting myself up and together. I wash my face, brush my teeth. I have some breakfast sausages on the stove. I am trying to do a number of things before I leave. I have to be out of here in about 
45 minutes. I want to leave the house at exactly 9.45. I have some errands to run. I have an appointment. I have a meeting. And yeah, I'm only going to take you with me to my dentist appointment. Um, I'm not going to like show you and have be recording at the same time, obviously. But I'm going to get my teeth clean later on. That's in the afternoon. But yeah, I just wanted to quickly come on camera, get ready with you guys and show you what I am wearing because I do I like to do or I would like to do some OOTDs outfit of the days and and suppose and just I don't know I guess tell you what I'm wearing throughout the day or throughout my vlogs so you guys know what exactly my style is and what I like to grab from my wardrobe so my first idea is to go with this dress it's a short dress. It's a short. It's a very wearable, everyday, casual, comfortable dress. It's pretty much on the thin side. I might have to layer this up because it is 40 degrees outside, 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah, I love this piece. I always, always reach for it. I got this from Pretty Little Thing. I, I don't know if it's still in stock. I bought it like last year or the year before that. I always grab this. I always wear it. It's long sleeve. It's a button up. It's high neck. It has a collar. It's very airy and light and thin. You can wear this all year round. I'm going to show you how I'm going to wear it during the fall slash winter month. I'm probably going to put like a basic um, layer underneath because it is pretty cold. I'm going to wear this with leggings. I am not going to have my bare legs out. I'm not sure if I'm going to wear boots. I don't know what type of boots. I don't know if I'm going to wear ankle boots, knee high boots thigh high boots i'm not sure but i am gonna wear leggings i'm probably gonna wear like some sort of thermal or basic underneath but i'm going to start getting dressed and once i am fully dressed i will come on camera and show you exactly what my outfit looks like and yeah um i'm gonna start putting my face together because i do not really walk the streets like this at all um, but I do like a five minute quick eyebrows, eyeliner, mascara. Once in a blue moon, I would put lip liner and lipstick on. But that is like my five minute go to. Like Again, I have you balanced again on my little makeshift tripod. I have you on a couple of boxes, but I'm so sorry. I am back home. I had to run out because I didn't want to be late. I had my meeting already. It um, was about an hour and a half long, two hours long. I'm back. I came home. I was scrolling on um, Instagram and I had another moment. I saw Takeoff had posted. I'm sorry. I saw Offset had posted I saw Offset post a heartfelt letter to take off. Oh my God. So if my makeup, I don't really have on any makeup, but I, I do wear eyeliner and mascara. So if my makeup looks a little bit like runny or anything, I try to wipe it off as best as I could. I just had to take a moment for Offset. I've been home for like an hour. I just had a little bit of lunch. I just made me a turkey sandwich. But I had to take a moment for Migos Gang and take off and offset because that sent me over the edge. I just clicked on Instagram really quickly and I was scrolling through and I just saw that um, uh, Offset had said some, some kind words in regards to the passing of his previous... Um, anyway... I don't know. I just, I can't, I can't understand why these things are happening, but the culture needs to change. I mean, this, anyway, I don't, I don't want to get emotional. It sent me over the edge. I was crying for like 20 minutes straight. It was just, I, I'm not able to get my head around certain things and I'm really trying my hardest not to fold. So yeah, um, I wanna come on here really quickly. I didn't need a chance to show you guys because I wanted to be on time for my meeting. Thank God, thank God to the heavens above. I was there 10 minutes early. So yeah, I didn't wanna keep anybody waiting cause they were waiting for me. So yeah, I just came from that. Um, I'm going to my dental appointment. I'm hoping I can bring you guys along. Um, yeah, so I have an hour 
yeah it's 2 50. i have an hour i should leave the house at 4. my appointment is at 5 p.m let me see how long it's going to take me to get there it says 30 minutes it's going to take me to get to the city from where i'm at i mean i'm i'm right here next to the bridge but still so my appointment is at 5. i'll leave the house by 4 20. 4 20 so i can get 4 30 so i could get there at five my appointment is at five i have an hour i want to see if i could quickly quickly try and assemble my desk i'm going to show you what i'm wearing and what i chose to style it with but i'm really trying to get my life together i want to edit my first video i'm hoping to god i could start tonight when i get back obviously not now I want to edit my first video. I still didn't oil my scalp, which is fine. I prefer to put oil on dry hair, but it's not like unheard of or unconstitutional to put oil on wet hair or doing hot oil treatment on wet, damp hair. So I didn't do that yesterday. I did manage to oil my body down yesterday or last night. I am going to try to get my desk up so that i can start getting this apartment together and like really get my editing station together even though i could edit in bed i do have a, a bed table that i use or i used to use i'm still going to keep it it's not going anywhere i love that table i can utilize it for many things but i really want like a personal desk and workstation work area so i am trying to get this desk together i've been saying that for a whole week but today is the day I will have this desk up and running. I'm probably going to put you on my actual tripod. And yeah, so let me see if I could put you down. Okay, that's better. Okay, so this is my pretty little thing dress that I got off a of pretty little thing. It's just a tiered skirt. Uh, dress rather it has these big beautiful balloon sleeves i wore it with these boots just for a little bit of elegance these boots they're everywhere everyone makes them i believe i got them from i don't remember nine west oh everyone does it nine west aldo now that i think about it these boots are everywhere they're suede they have like a two inch three inch heel Ooh, you're out of focus sorry about that they have a three inch heel and they're square toe they're beautiful they're easy and comfortable to walk in they're knee high no they're over the knee on me so i wore these basic black leggings i have on a basic layer underneath because the temperature the temperature has substantially dropped so yeah it's definitely time for layers and definitely boot season boot season is here i cannot wait to wear my boots and my layers i love it i love this time of year i love dressing for the fall and winter months i need to find a couple of more pea coats this is my h m pea coat it's a navy blue color it's very dark some might assume that it's black but it's not black it's dark so i had those boots on with this jacket what is pea coat rather it's a wool blend. I don't think it's 100% wool, but yeah, it's just a wool blend. Um, I'm probably not going to put on those boots again. It's already midday. I'm going to throw in some trainer and run out the door because I'm just going to get a cleaning and I'm coming right back. I want to start putting away stuff. I need to oil my scalp. I need to just really clean up in here, get everything else organized. And yeah, I want to really edit this video. I'm praying to God that I can even finish the video today. I've done my research on how to edit, so I feel like in my mind, I'm sorry. Yeah, so I know in my heart that I can get it done. I can manage editing. I don't know how fast I'm gonna edit. I don't know how much I'm gonna edit, but I want to have my first video out this week. Today is Tuesday. I wanna have my first video out this week. I'm hoping Thursday, I'm hoping. I'm hoping I can finish editing by tonight. So I wanna get this desk open. I have one hour to assemble this desk and yeah, I'm going to take you guys with me. So, oh, my perfume for today, Ebony Woods by Zara. Zara does have a good variety and selection of perfumes. I have sampled several of their perfumes. This is the travel size Ebony Woods. I didn't know for sure if I was gonna like it. 
it's okay. I do wear it. I'm going to use it. I don't think I will repurchase it again, but I do like it. It's, it's okay. It's not going to give me a headache. It doesn't bother me. The smell is okay. Um, the Jevity is excellent. I only sprayed a few pumps earlier this morning and I still can smell it throughout the air. How elegant am I? I hope I don't ruin my dress, my lovely, lovely dress, but I am going to, I am not going to change out of these clothes. I'm sorry. This is labor for a man. We're going to see if I can do this. If not, it's so heavy. I couldn't even move it. It was up against the wall. I don't know. We're going to see. If I could even, it, look, I can't move this at all. I bought this off of Amazon. I can't find my box cutter.
<laughs> oh my god oh my god it's gotta be like after midnight it's 11 36 p.m i swear to you i probably have been working on this contraction for at least three four hours at least straight no breaks only sips of water water breaks only and that's it I came home, I think I was home like around seven o'clock-ish. I was on the phone for about an hour. I ate, I had my dinner. But then I went straight ahead to do this desk. I do not wish this on my worst enemies. I am telling you right now, oh, this thing, oh my God, I cannot wait for this thing to be done and over with, like, oh, my god i think i'm pretty much at the very very end obviously i just have to stand up properly put the drawers in and i think that's it turn it on i'm pretty sure i'm done oh my goodness don't get me wrong the steps the instructions were like i will give it to them i will give it to them but wow I, I don't know how many steps that was. I mean, it had to have been at least 60, 70 steps. I mean, anyway, I'm not working on no video. As you can see, I'm not working on any video. I am going to wash my face. I might do a little bit of skincare. I'm going straight to sleep. I don't even know if the words that are coming out of my mouth are correct. I don't even know. My eyes are drowsy and I'm like falling asleep right now. So I'm just gonna test this out, play with this for about, for about two more minutes and that's it. Like I'm done, I'm pooped, I'm wiped out. I, I will never do that again. My foot, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it was gonna happen. I knew it was gonna happen, my toes. <sighs> this thing is at least 200 pounds, voila, 200 pounds. This thing, if you ever in your life think about purchasing a desk like this, a metal one at that, and it's a similar concept, and it don't come with wheels, I think they had desks like this without wheels. I'm telling you right now, send it back exactly what I bought it for. I needed something with wheels and I need something that's gonna be adjustable. That's gonna go up and down. I don't know what these other um, buttons do. I'm not gonna try that out just yet because I don't wanna ruin it. Everything's sturdy. I don't like that these, I don't like that this wood has two separate slabs. I really don't like that. I wish that this wood was just one slab Oh. oh my goodness, I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna grab this. I'm gonna bring it closer and show you. I do not like that. Let me put my drawers in. And my back hurts, oh my God. Don't do this at home. Ladies, do not do this and try this at home.
Let's see. I don't know why it's not going all the way in. Of course, my battery died. But um, I love the dust. It's giving me a little bit of a back problem. I'm in love with this, but of course I broke the drawers. I broke them, they're not bad. I tried my best to fix them. I tried to use a little bit of, you know, Bob the Builder type of skills. No, I'm just kidding, but I did try to fixing the mechanism. So I'm very upset about that. So I'm gonna ask, I'm gonna email them and see if they could just send me replacement drawers. It's really the mechanism, it's not the drawer. The sliding mechanism got jammed because I inadvertently mixed up the drawers. It's saying that this drawer belongs on this side, this drawer belongs on that side. I had it opposite and it wouldn't close properly. I was assuming that's why they said six goes on this side, seven goes on that side, but I don't know, I wasn't paying attention. I accidentally placed the drawers in the wrong slot and the mechanism jammed. So I was like, oh, okay, that's probably why I was supposed to really follow direction. And I noticed that the drawers wouldn't close. They were overlapping on top of each other. So I literally had to yank them out and then a whole bunch of stuff flew out. But the doors, the drawers are still working fine and they're sliding but they're not sliding the best so i'm gonna have to get them replaced i'm gonna email them probably tomorrow and see if i can replace the drawers only i do not want to do this whole entire thing over again i'm going to send out a very very lovely email hopefully i can get the drawers replaced if not it is what it is i'm pretty sure that when i jam pack these drawers because i do use these drawers I'm pretty sure it's gonna weigh it down a little bit and then I'm gonna have even a hard time opening and closing the drawers. So it, it is important that I do get this situation sorted out because in the future, I know it's gonna be hell to pay. I swear to you, I'm just procrastinating. I am literally procrastinating. It is the next day, obviously. Maybe not obviously, but it is the next day. It's six something. I'm a little bit annoyed. The sockets or the power on this wall behind you or behind the camera went out so my microwave and everything was off it's not working it's like six seven o'clock in the afternoon i have to be to bed at 10 because i have to wake up at 5 5 30 to be to work at 7. so i have not edited the vlog at all i haven't set up my desk at all and uh yeah i i'm, I'm a little bit annoyed i'm being honest with you I am a little bit annoyed, but I am going to start. Tonight I'm going to start. Even if it's just importing the footage, I am going to start tonight. First, I'm going to try and tidy up because I the day has gone by. It is 6 o'clock, so I only have about four hours to myself now. I finally got off the phone. I finally took care of my personal business, so that's out the way. But, yeah, I am... Um, I'm just packing down these boxes. I'm gonna take them out right now. I'm gonna clean up my kitchen a little bit. And then yeah, hopefully, hopefully get my office together. I was gonna do a whole bunch of other stuff, but no, I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna edit. I'm gonna try and edit. Oh my God, I'm just procrastinating. I just don't wanna do it. I, I'd rather just pay someone to do it, but I don't know. I'm I'm really like I'm I'm making excuses right now like I am but I'm going to edit my first vlog.
in the name of God. <laughs> I'm gonna take these boxes down. I'm really, I'm really trying so hard to not let the day, I'm trying so hard to not let I don't know, I'm trying very hard to train my brain and my mind and get a better handle on dealing with stress. Like I, I'm really trying to see the positive side in being tested and challenged. I am, I'm, I'm, I don't know, I don't know. It is currently, 7 30 p.m like i told you probably in the previous clip i need to be like going to bed shut down everything by 10 p.m so 10 o'clock is the latest i will be up even though i want to be in bed at 10 p.m but 10 o'clock is the latest i will be on my computer none of my sockets are working it's cold in my apartment because it's cold outside. There's no heat. I guess because I don't have any electricity. I haven't had any heat for the last couple of nights, but I do have my portable heater and I plugged it in and I plugged in my laptop and I don't know, something's off because all of my electricity. Now I'm trying to plug in my portable heater because I'm getting cold. That didn't come on, so I said, you know what, whatever, let me just start. Not only that, I spent the last 10, 20 minutes looking for the other SD card for the first vlog because when I was filming my apartment tour, my memory was full. So I took the memory card out and now I'm vlogging my next vlog, a brand new SD because I didn't have time to edit. So I just went and bought some more SD cards. So I don't even know where I put this SD card. I'm praying that these SD cards that I found in this little wallet is one of them. Elsewise, I'm really gonna be in over my head. If I don't do anything for the night, I just want to import the footage into my external hard drive. If I don't have a video this week, if I don't start this YouTube journey, 
it is what it is. But I'm praying, I'm praying to the gods. I'm praying to the heavens above. I'm praying, I'm praying, I'm praying. I found five SD cards. I'm praying that one of these SD cards, one, is my apartment tour. I can't find it. I don't know where. I'm not even, I'm to be honest with you, to be absolutely honest with you, I don't know, I'm being honest with you. I don't remember. I don't know what I did with the car. I know I took it out because I said, you know, let me put it away, let me put it up. Okay, my laptop is not completely empty. I kid you not. This is what I get for delaying and procrastinating. I literally was procrastinating. This is exactly what I get for procrastinating. You know, if I would have started earlier this morning, I could have pulled maintenance, maintenance left for the day. I just plugged in my SD, so I'm checking it now. I'm checking it right now. I think this is my moving vlog. Okay, so I found my second video. Okay, so this would be the third video, actually. This is my move-in vlog. So I found that one. Yep, because I now I'm looking at when I purchased the microwave. I'm showing you guys my shop, what I picked up from Target. So this is the second vlog, because this is not my empty apartment tour. I'm going to come back on camera. I'm going to check out and see what's um, on these cards and get back to you guys. And I'm back and I'm feeling in a much better mood. To be honest with you, I am feeling a lot better. Not because I found the, the, not because I found my SD for my first vlog, hopefully. In the name of God, it's gonna be my first vlog. My moving apartment tour, my empty apartment tour. I found it and you know, I don't know. I just, I'm starting to go through the clips right now. I haven't imported the footage yet to my external hard drive. I found it, it's only 8.15. I'm gonna start my exporting. My laptop is still going. I still don't have any electricity, unfortunately. So that's driving me bonkers. I don't even know if the maintenance will be able to come to my house at 4 p.m. because I'm going to work and I'm not gonna be home till 4, 4.15. Two things, not even two things, one thing. I can call maintenance and tell him that he has permission to enter into my apartment to check the electricity in the sockets or, you know what? I just had a thought. I think I saw some box here. There's a box here. I'm gonna keep my fingers crossed because I bet you there's nothing in this box, but I'm gonna keep my fingers crossed. Hello, everyone. It is the next day. It is Thursday. Hey, Suri. Hey, uh -huh. what is today? It's Thursday, November 17th, 2022. Okay. It is Thursday, November 17th. Um, I said I was gonna come home, get my nails done, and also edit. It is six o'clock on the dot, and I did not get my nails done. And I really want my nails done. I had to run home because, I don't know if I told you guys, I'm pretty sure I did. Yes, I was in a funk because my electricity went out and I didn't wanna use up all of my power to edit and I'm in the middle of editing and then my laptop shuts off because the battery is gone or dies rather. Um, so the maintenance people from the building, they called me while I was at work. I did make a note, but do not enter my apartment unless you call me. They did call me and they said that they turned back on the breaker or reset the breaker. I'm not too sure what the breaker is. I know what a breaker is, but I don't know like, if you turn it on, you turn it off, you reset it. I'm not exactly 100% sure how the 
breaker situation works. I'm not too sure. I'm not really like educated on that type of stuff. But um, I wanted to run home because I wanted to catch him in case, God forbid, this happens again, especially on the weekend or overnights or whatever. I immediately told him like, listen, this cannot be happening. And it's unacceptable that I have to wait. Like this is unacceptable. Number two, my heater is not working. My thermostat, whatever you call this contraction on the wall, it's supposed to regulate the temperature in my apartment. It doesn't work. That's number two. We're about to be in the winter. I'm not trying to be in here freezing my behind off. And number three, I wanted to make sure that my power was back on. Thank the heavens above, my electricity and my power is back on. However, I'm getting even more discouraged because it is absolutely freezing outside. It is absolutely frozen outside. And now I don't even want to go back out. It, it feels like winter. It doesn't even feel like fall. It feels like straight up winter outside. I, I can't even believe this. It feels like winter. Oh my goodness. My goodness. I have so many things to do. I'm gonna try my hardest to get my hair done this weekend, I think. I wanna edit this video, but I cannot take these nails. Like, I can't take them. I cannot take them. I cannot take them. I cannot take them. But I needed to come home because I had to catch this guy and I had to insert myself. I had to make it a point. This cannot happen. Um, yeah, so I had to do that. And also, let's address the elephant in the room. I don't know, since I've been talking to you for however many minutes now, oh my God, I'm just like, I'm like a fish underwater. I don't need air. I'm just literally running my trap for like 10 minutes straight. But let's address the elephant in the room. For the rest of this vlog or for the rest of this video, you see my face changing and you're wondering why it looked like this woman has went out and did her masseter, 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 muscle or mandible, mandible jawbone. I did not. I did tell you guys that I want to go get my teeth cleaned. My teeth are still there. I didn't get my teeth pulled. I do not have a tooth infection or anything like that. Well, I might. No, you never know. I did go and get my teeth cleaned. But I did not get my jawline done or anything like that. Not that I'm against it. This chick right here, this chick right here. But this chicken head right here. Let's see, maybe it's the light. Ran up on me. Child, I'm looking in a mirror. Why my face is what? What? I already felt it. I already knew. But what? I don't know how. <laughs> Child, somebody throwing something my way. Somebody throwing something my way. I, I honestly I I'm I give up at this point like I give up at this point my skin has been going through don't get me wrong the last I don't know eight ten years when I turned like 20 21 ish my skin has been problematic I do have acne prone problematic skin however the last before the pandemic, four or five years, my skincare 
it's my skin let's just i forget about my skincare because we can go on and on and on about skincare i'm just gonna spit it out get right to it my skin is under control my skin is under control like my skin is under control however yeah i think i, I noticed a, a change in puerto rico a few months ago in puerto rico because my skin was doing bad in puerto rico oh my god my skin was doing hella bad i'm talking about your girl was your, your girl was doing bad in puerto rico I can't post that vlog like I I was looking a mess I can't I cannot post that vlog the, the specifically I remember Puerto Rico your girl was down bad when I say down bad your girl I mean but ever since then I've been having not these one or two pimples even when I'm ovulating and I go through my hormonal changes every 28 days or so I noticed my breakouts has been like how I it's it, it's not to the extreme of when I was 21 but my skin has just been bad when I say bad your girl down bad 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 then I get another one on this cheek almost in the same exact area. I get another one. This one, I mean, chiseled from this angle, jawline chiseled. This is like a blister. This is, I don't know, yeah, but if you see some changes throughout the video throughout the vlog yeah um i didn't get my teeth pulled this is for all i know it's not a tooth infection i'm telling you my skin care is on point everything that i use for my skin is benefiting me the treatment plan for my skin is excellent the products that i use my skin care is on lockdown 10 out of 10 so yeah but i don't know what's been happening but when i do break out and my breakouts has been a little bit more often than usual when i do break out my god oh my god i'm even scarring again it's been a while it's been a while since i scarred like this but there should be no reason no reason whatsoever for me to be talking for 20 minutes because it's 6 20 now and i told you it was six o'clock on a dot and talking about my skin for damn near seven minutes so there should be no reason i'm gonna figure out i'm gonna call her first see if she's still open if she has any appointments available i'm gonna see how i'm feeling i'm gonna turn down this heat because i am about to break out in a sweat i'm gonna turn this thing off i don't know i'm so excited to turn on this laptop though I feel I'm in a much better mood. Your girl's been getting her mood together. I'm in a much better mood. And I will see you guys in like a few hours. I'll let you know how far in my night I get. So, I am back. I am back from the nail salon. I didn't tell you and I didn't bring you with me. Because, yeah, I just wanted to get in and get out. And yeah, I just did my nails. They're normally what I go for. They're a little bit too long. My thumbs are the exact, my thumbs are the exact size or length rather that I like and go for. Uh, I don't know why the rest of my fingers are. It look at my my pinkies are extremely long. Oh my god, my pinkies are extremely long, and only my ring finger is the exact shape that I want. But my thumb is the exact length that I like, and yeah, it's not too bad. I was hoping that 
the color this is not black by the way this is not at all black but i was hoping that the um color that i wanted was like either a ruddy burgundy undertone or a brown undertone and this is a plum undertone believe it or not when i looked at it in a bottle i assumed it was like a black red like a dark cherry red is what i wanted like extremely dark cherry red but it is 8 40 p.m i like to close up shop and do my skincare routine and get ready for bed at 10 the latest so i'm gonna try my best to edit in an hour and a half it's nine okay so then one hour like hour and 20 minutes matter of fact it's gonna take me one hour because i need to set up my desk i need to plug in a few more wires because i don't have enough space or yeah i don't have enough i, I don't have enough outlets and my desk yeah my desk needs to be plugged in so i could adjust the height my charging station needs to be plugged in because i need a charging station for my phone and whatever else i have a little charging station that i bought off of amazon um yeah uh i will probably see you guys at 10 o'clock let you know how far into editing i get and yeah. as you can tell i am in my bathroom i am getting ready for bed i didn't get far tonight unfortunately I only watched pretty much all of the clips for my first video so I just watched the clips I didn't even pick out or edit like chop out the parts that needs to be chopped out but um, it's 10 o'clock it's like 10 10 I'm getting ready for bed oh that reminds me because I know I'm not gonna get any sleep tonight I am going to take two of these melatonin. This is the melatonin that I take at night. Uh, most nights I take it, not every single night, but I do take this quite often to help me sleep, fall asleep, stay asleep. I get this from Target. I take the 10 milligrams of sleep gummies. They taste okay. They taste pretty well, if I can get it open. Strawberry flavored, I get it from Target. Um, inexpensive, not expensive at all. They work, they do the job, they get the job done. The last few years, I just need a little bit of a push. I just need a little bit of a push. Sometimes I do take Tylenol PM, but um, this works just as fine. I'm just going over a little bit. Excuse me, not classy, not classy at all. Sorry, that wasn't really supposed to be in a program. Like, that wasn't in a program. But as soon as I said sleep, it's 10, 10. I'm gonna have a hard time really falling asleep. So yeah, by the time I finish up my skincare and everything, hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, I fall asleep. Last night I took it and actually I did not fall asleep. So, but I was okay. When I woke up, I was okay. I wasn't like, you know, whining and moaning or anything, but yeah. So yeah, I'm winding down for the night. And if you don't mind, I do want to do just a little bit of skincare with you. Not like, I don't know if I did do my skincare. No, I don't think so. Matter of fact, I didn't do the previous, I'm pretty sure I did something I think I just might have done a face wash. This is acne fighting skincare. This is what I do to combat my acne and my breakouts. My skincare regimen depends on what it is I want to do for the night or for the day or whatever. I don't use every single product in my medicine cabinet. I don't. My medicine cabinet is my skincare cabinet and I do have a skincare drawer as well. Both of them are full but I don't use every single product every single day all at one time. I don't do that. I don't know anybody that does that. I don't know if people do that but I'm just gonna put it out there really quickly that I do not use every single product on my skin every single day. So tonight is my acne fighting skincare. It's relatively quick relatively easy and it's not going to 
take up a lot of my time but before i do that i'm gonna multitask i'm gonna oil my scalp as well as a quick little disclaimer i am not an esthetician all of these products that i'm going to be using these are over-the-counter products even though these products was bought over the counter you should still consult with the physician on whether or not you should be using or taking these products including the gummies anything that i use anything that i ingest Please, please, please do your research beforehand. I am not an esthetician. I am not a doctor. I have very little knowledge on these products. I'm just letting you know that I use them. They work for me. I've been using them. They've been working for me. So I just want to really quickly shove that in there because, yeah, I do not. I need any of these products that you see. The oil that I'm going to use, the chemicals, and the chemical peel that I'm going to use, I want you to do your research beforehand consult with the professional it can be an esthetician a doctor an NPPA. i don't have any sort of certification in skincare or beauty so i just want to put that out there really quickly why i'm saying this because there is one particular product that i am going to use in this video right now that is a very harsh product even though I have a relatively low dosage, the dosage comes in several different concentrations. The higher the concentration, the more powerful and strong this product is. It can be very dangerous for your skin and dangerous if not used carefully. So I want to just put that out there really, really quickly because I told you earlier, I am suffering I haven't really gotten this particular one. I've had one similar, like closer to this side, but I don't know what this one is. Like this is really huge. It's sore. It looked like I had my tooth pulled. I've never had this type of blister right here. I usually get them right here, closer to the cheek sometimes. This is actually one. This is a previous one. This is an actual blister that I had a month ago. Sorry about that. That was my memory. I just swapped out my memory card, but I had this blister about a month ago and it's like slightly a little bit above where I get it. I usually get it in this blank space right here. I forget what you call this area, but this part right here is where I normally get my blisters. I never had one right here. So maybe that could be the reason why it looks so like chiseled. So um, I purchased this bottle with this spout from the beauty supply store. I use this to apply my oil in my hair. I find this, this is just my humble opinion. You can do whatever your heart desires. I'm just telling you where my thinking is. When I discovered this, this thing right here is game changer. Now, I don't mind the spout being this wide, this big, and this long. The bottle to me could have been a lot smaller just to save space. This bottle is currently, this bottle currently holds 250 ml and I only used about, I never use more than 40 ml and I haven't done my research on these oils. I purchased these oils from the beauty supply store as well. I got this at the beauty supply store. I get my oils from the beauty supply store. This is not 100% inorganic, organic, freshly pulled from the ground. Ooh. 